Hi, everyone. Let's provide the solution here. We have 6 to the power of x plus 1 equals 18. And we want to solve this. Now, from here, why don't we apply one of the laws of um, indices? Okay, because we know that if we have a to the power of b plus c, this is the same thing as a to the power of b multiplied by a to the power of c. So if I do the same, if I apply the same thing here, I will have it in this form. 6 to the power of x multiplied by 6 to the power of 1 equals 18. And 6 to the power of 1 is the same as 6. So this can be written as 6 to the power of x multiplied by 6 equals 18. Okay, and by the way, if you are new to my channel, do well to subscribe so that you can always get my videos every time I upload. Now, we need to remove this 6 from here as we divide by, by 6 and then we divide this by 6. Now, this will go there and then 6 to the power of x will be equal to 18 divided by 6 and that is 3. And then we cannot write 3 in this form. So what we'll do is to take the log of both sides now. And then we have log of 6 to the power of x equals log of 3. The power here will go behind. So we have x log 6 to be equal to log of 3. Mind you, we are looking for the value of x. So I need to remove this 6 and then I will divide this by log 6. Okay, this is log 6. Then divide the whole of this by log of 6. This goes with this one. And then our x is free and it's equal to log 3 over log 6. And we can change the base. So if we change the base, we're going to have x to be equal to log of 3 to base 6. Okay, this 6 here becomes the base to 3. So this right here is the value of x that, sh um, that should satisfy 6 to the power of x plus 1 equals 18. And um, like we always do, we verify so let's verify our result. Okay, so now we are going to have 6 to the power of x is log 3 to be 6, right? And um, we have this plus 1. So the whole of this is the power. And then we will now apply another law of indices to see if we're going to have 18. And the law is 6 to the power of log 3 to be 6 multiply, multiply by 6 to the power of 1. This is because if I pick one of the bases, I'll have the 6. Then add the two powers since we are multiplying them. Okay. Now, another law is this. This and this can go so that the whole of this will give us 1. Provided 6 that is here is the base to the log there. And then we multiply by 6 to the power of 1, which is the same as 6. And 3 times 6 is what? 18. Remember the given equation is 6 to the power of x plus 1 equals 18. And that is the same 18 over there. So therefore... Our x to be equal to log 3 to the base of 6 satisfies the equation. Do well to subscribe to my channel so that you would um, have access to more of my videos.